this building to me has been an example of de-investment in this community. And so basically we're taking it back because it really should already be um, live and bright and colorful and filled with people. So, you know, that's what it's gonna be. Around me, we have the cream of the crop of Hilltop artists, Tacoma artists at large, and they're gracing us with their presence and doing this work on this reclamation space centered in the black, 150 years of blackness here on Hilltop. I will mention how great it is to be a part of a collective of Hilltop residents and Tacoma residents and um, black folk all together who are willing to put work into creating a vibrant narrative because there is a narrative of Hilltop and there's always been different narratives. It always had this gray feel to it, a lot of abandoned buildings. It's really cool to see things being rewritten um, the right way through paint, through art, through gathering, through togetherness, um, through unity. One of the great things that happened in the synergies that were there is this listening, using for Tara's know-how, but really listening to the will of the people and, and figuring out they're the ones that told us what to do here. And so right around you, you see the beginnings, the very beginnings of um, bringing life into this building that since 2012 has been empty. Forterra is committed to community-driven design. To that end, we purchased the building. Part of the, the commitment is in pre-development and listening and making sure that before we ever do anything, before we tear this building down, before we have any kind of programming, we're listening first. Really, it's about making sure that we do it intentionally. And to do that, we have to go in steps. Phase one is get ready. And that's what you see to get the murals outside to show everyone something's happening at this building. And the Lasting Legacy artists are going to come and they're going to do some permanent work for the buildings that will be here. Because there's going to be uh, approximately four buildings here, about 300 units for that are going to be attainable housing with the bottom floor of all business spaces. The color that it's going to bring, the attention that it brings, the awareness that it'll bring to let people know like what's going on. Bringing some, some life back to the area, you know what I mean? Bringing some color. Yeah, a lot of color. <laughs>